All right, uh, greetings, greetings, everybody. Greetings are Richard and uh, greetings are Nana. How are you? Yeah, we are good. Oh, good. I'm fine. All right, so family, this is our Black Star Pan African Community meeting. Uh, we're both of our brothers that's uh, organizing and operating, our attorney, Richard, and Nana Haiti. So what we're here to talk about is just land ownership and the uh, land registration process. So off top of the head right now, we have uh, incorporation uh, set up and also we have 15 acres and 60, 60 acres land survey uh, registered at, set up at a land uh, commission. So the next thing we need to talk about is uh, the process of registration and uh, what's the game plan so we can share with everyone. And also Nana is here to share about this, the ownership of the land, because what we're here to do is just make sure that people are clear. If they have any questions, if they need to know anything, they need to know it from the source of us. So I'm telling everyone, um, myself, as far as uh, Bomani Tayamba, I organized this project so we can have the 15 and the 60 acres of land so we can use it for repatriation. Uh, the 15 acres is set up to where it's just mainly residential and then the 60 acres, residential and commercial. And all of this was set up uh, by a legal process. And that's why we have, the, that's why I say lawyer, Lapo right there family. And then you see Nana Haiti. Uh, so that was all set up and everything that we have is court stamp and signed. Uh, so that's what we have going on. And so Nana is here to explain the process of his ownership of his stool and how we came into a legal agreement to acquire the land and paid for the land. And once all money was paid for, all information was sent to where we can register the land. So right now, the only thing that we have in the middle right now is we're looking to register the land. We need a final price, but also need to make sure we let everyone know that we're gonna to try to see if we can do a payment plan because some people are, are already paid for their registration payment and some people haven't. But the situation we have is we we are to register everything at one one land, right? One 15 acres, right? That's the goal. I think that's what we talk about, right? And now Richard, I'm asking you. Yeah. The goal that we have set up was to register 15 acres of land all together. Yes. But now I realize that maybe we could have worked something out where individuals would just go and register their own land. That would have made it a lot simpler. Is that a process or we have to still do it as, as one? You have to register in bulk as one because the land was purchased by Black Star Pan-African Community. Right. which is a registered legal entity. Nana leased the land to Black Star Pan-African community. So um, the, the lease documents that was given to you, um, Bomani, and the site plan, what you call a survey, everything um, on record points to Black Star Pan-African community. And then you have also given portions of the land out, individual plots. So um, the, what can be done now is for the, the entire 15 acres to be registered in the name of Black Star Pan-African community. An individual cannot go to um, Lands Commission and purport to register an individual plot because in any event, Nana has given a 15 acre lease to Black Star. So it is that instrument that ought to be registered. And then once it is registered and Black Star um, Pan African Community, his name is duly registered at the Lands Commission, they can now do a direct transfer to, to individuals who have also purchased, um, um, how do you call it, um, individual plots within the 15 acres. They can they can go ahead and register their interests. But for now, um, uh, the individual plots you've given to the members, if they go there, if they go to Lands Commission, they can't register it because the name Black Star Pan-African uh, Community 
is not registered with the Lands Commission. That is what this whole thing is about. Oh, perfect. Uh, simple. So, so got it. So I'm clear on that. So I'm trying to, I was trying to get, make, get a verbal confirmation about that. So that's how it is. So, so what we're doing is um, we need to just get, a, literally just get an option to where we can just pay what we have for the people who have registered their land as far as payments. And then once everyone has paid pay their money, we're going to pay the rest. So those are the things that we're going to try to get you to work out. So now what I'm doing is I've written to the Lands Commission for them to furnish us with official fee for the registration of the 15 acres. All right. I'm, I'm hoping that in the course of this week, we'll get a response from them. And I'll let you have it because we are registering the full 15 acres for Black Star. Black Star is taking steps to register its interest in the 15 acres. So um, for you to communicate the, the exact amount to your members, we need to have an official response from the Lands Commission. So um, in the course of this week, I'll have that uh, feedback from them and I'll let you have that correspondence. Then you can share it with your, your individual subscribers and then you would arrange how much each one of you would pay for um, the, the registration because um, the 15 acres ought to be registered. So once we get the, the, the amount from Lands Commission, I'll let you have the letter and then you can take it up from there. All right, perfect. So great explanation as far as that process. And so what we have done is we, I want to say we had a rough estimate. So that's what we went by. So we realized that um, we need to just renegotiate for something better than what we have uh, because we have to include also the portion of where the business and the community center is. So anyway, um, we're going to work on those numbers and then we're going to work on what we have. But uh, yes, we did have a few members that's already paid for that registration. And what ex I did explain that it does have to be registered at one. So unfortunately, it's like, uh, Richard, you may be ready to go. And then a few other people maybe just be getting started. It's kind of the hardest thing to manage, but the realistic thing of it is, um, it's something that we have to put off and then work on the surveys and other things. So that's where we are right now to where we just want to get everything registered this summer and then collect everyone's payment. And also this submit we already have and that way we can just work on this good path. So that's something that we're gonna have to just let people know, we're gonna have to get back to them on and for no one to just make a move, for everyone just to give us time to work it out because this is a long process and this is also the final process. Uh, so once uh, it's uh, registered in the system and everybody uh, get their final deed, uh, that is it. Or, or is there another process that they need to do? Well, once once um, I get the, the response from Lands Commission, it will be, it will be a, a written response telling us how much it will cost for the 15 acres to be registered in the name of the group, Black Star Pan-African Community. At this point, what we are, what we are seeking um, from the Lands Commission is for them to tell us officially how much it will cost to register the 15 acres that was leased to you, to, to the, to the, to the, to the um, um, entity, that's to Black Star. So um, yeah, in the course of this week, yes, when I get the, the, the official correspondence from them, immediately I'll let you have it, and then you can now uh, share it with your members. From If um, you are able to raise the money, you can kickstart the registration. And once the registration is done, the, 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 the land, the 15 acres, will now be registered in the name of Black Star Pan-African community. So from there, um, any member who, who, or subscriber who got a land or two can just, um, uh, what we call a transfer, a transfer from, from Black Star to, to um, that subscriber. That subscriber's interest will be registered there. 
But as it stands now, if any subscriber or any member goes to Lands Commission to register, it would, it would not go through. That process will be stalled because um, the, the subscriber did not get a direct lease from Nana. So the Lands Commission cannot process his or her documents. Uh, perfect, uh, that's understood. Uh, th uh, thank you for explaining it. So everything that you mentioned is exactly what we have been consistent with explaining and things like that. So now this is where we are. So um, in another week or so, or whenever we'll this uh, proceed. Uh, so appreciate uh, brother Richard uh, on that explanation and uh, Nana Haiti, can you uh, share the details of your land ownership and your stool? And you, I can't see you. Yeah, yeah, the land is my school land. It was my ancestors who came to settle there, but they said asset. So uh, now, it, now when the land is leased out, the registration is done by the Lands Commission. That is why we informed the Lands Commission about your lease. And they gave us an amount to be paid for, which I've forgotten now. So I've asked Richard to write official to them so that it will be an official document which we can be keeping that this amount to be paid because the first one it was just an oral investigation we did and they did the calculations and gave us the amount but i've forgotten the amount now so the land is my two land and it is we are the owners of the land it's not government land it is not government acquired land the government acquired land individuals cannot give it out. For the better land, it is the owner with a collaboration with the Lands Commission that give out the land. So the owner gives out the land and the Lands Commission ensure the registration of the land. So the owner of the land is my stool. That is Nana Haiti the 10. The land is my stool. So people must understand the difference between government land and the better land. It's quite different. It's not the same. So it's my, uh, the ownership of the land is just has this two land, not any other person. I appreciate it, Nana. And can you back up a little bit? I can barely see you. <laughs> yeah. do, do you see me? Uh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> my, like, my, my room is not. Uh, oh, no, you're good right there. Perfect. Is it, is it okay? Oh, yeah, perfect. Yeah, I can see you better. Uh, before your face was all, was all in the camera. All right. <laughs> yeah, just want to let people know that's really you and not somebody that's uh, acting like you. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but the, situation, the situation uh, that we're tied in. Can you see me now? Oh, I can okay. see you, great, Nana. Appreciate you. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, and what I want to review, uh, the situation of land ownership, I want to let people know that when we all got together and we talked in September of 2019, uh, we literally explained the same process as what we're explaining now. It seemed like every year we have to go back and explain it again, which is fine because you always got to update information. So I'm telling individuals that I'm going to do my best to get this thing taken care of as far as land registration and, and a few people who are still waiting for their surveys I'm going to get with Evans so he can get their surveys completed because I have a list of like 12 more surveys, including mine, that we need to process. So uh, Nana Haiti, I want you to also let um, uh, Evans know that we need these surveys completed. And also once they're completed, we can all get uh, the deeds out that are Richard that you will work on and uh, I'll sign off and then Nana Haiti. What I'll do is um, I'll leave I'll leave the registration of, I'll leave people deed of assignment at our office there in the Jahadi estate. We have a vice president there, uh, Azibo. And what he'll do is uh, he'll, hold it, he'll hold it for us and then you can come by and sign it or he can bring it to you. So I'm gonna work those kind of process to where anyone needs any kind of land paperwork, even their surveys and things like that, they can leave it at the office. But also uh, what I do is, all the surveys, I need a digital copy and all of the, the deed of assignment, we need uh, them to be sent via email. Uh, so those are the things that we have set up to where 
uh, someone who wants uh, any of the available lots can get their paperwork uh, immediately, uh, starting with their survey, then their deed of assignment. And then uh, since it's the 15 acres, um, at that point, either we have the process that's gonna be just, uh, paid into as far as registration or the land will be registered already, re uh, uh, registered already. But never the case, uh, they'll be able to have a process to where yes, they can uh, the survey and go ahead. Uh, Nana Haiti, go ahead. Internet, internet. All right, uh, Richard, uh, let me continue. So um, the process that we have been working is making it to where, you know, it's, it's one of those um, strange process, but you're trying to get people who are ready to go. You see Lennon and Carmen, they follow that same process and they have their house built on the land as of um, December, 2021. And then just going there uh, from uh, December, 2019. So that, that's a two year process, but, and that was like the, the, the first flow of the process. Uh, and in between, they also got a residency. So I'm letting everyone know that some people are ready to do some of these process and some people are not. And unfortunately, um, the registration process is one of those things where not everybody is because some people are still trying to even get to Ghana to, you know, to see certain things and process certain things. And so it's a tricky process, but that's the game plan that we set up. So uh, once uh, everything come back, we just figure it out and we just um, pay into it as best as possible and we get it done. And we just kind of finish this complete process so we can work on other things. All right, so I see a few people on the call, uh, Prince Charles, Jennifer, and Dr. Lenora. So if any of you have any questions, uh, let us know. Uh, Nana Haiti, I didn't think he was gonna be on long. The connection is unstable, unfortunately. And uh, Richard, uh, if you have anything else to share with us, you can share with us, but I don't wanna hold you too long either. No, um, at this point, I, would, um, I don't have much to say now. I'm waiting for the official response from the Lands Commission with respect to how much it will cost us to register the land in the name of the corporate entity, that's Black Star Pan-African Community. All right, perfect. Once, once, I, once I get that response from the Lands Commission, immediately I'll let you have it. And then that, that it will mean that, um, the, once we are able to raise that money, the land will be registered in the name of the, the group. Once it is registered, um, individuals can also have their lands registered there, but I, I, um, you cannot, individuals cannot register their lands if they, 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 don't, they don't have, uh, um, 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 how do we call it, 10 numbers. Because if you go there, they will ask of your thing. These days, the law in Ghana is, if you don't have a tax identification number, you cannot deal with any public office. So, but well, that is, that is for another discussion. For now, for now, the, 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 the tax, the immediate tax now is for the, the, the registration to be completed in the name of the group. Then perfect. So once it is next said, once hopefully. that registration, everybody understand that. Yes, once that registration is effected, then the individual registration, when we get to that bridge, we'll cross it. But for now, we want the, 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 the group to have its name at Lamps Commission. Even though you have a valid lease from Nana, as he explained, he gave you the land, the group, he gave, he, he granted the land to you but you have not registered your, your, your interest with, let's say, for want of a better word, with the, with, with, with the government, with the state. All right, cool, perfect. If you can back up, what does the word grant means? Because uh, where, we, where we come from is uh, the world sold or we bought the land, uh, which it's a financial transaction. So I'm not sure what grant means. I don't want to confuse anyone listening to the video. He said, Nana, grant us the land. Yes, Nana granted you a 15-acre land at Jazzy. 
now I'm trying to get clarity of the word I'm trying to get clarity Hello. of the word brand. Hello, Richard. Go ahead. Richard. Yes, we are here. Richard. Yes. Hello, Richard. Yes, we ah, can hear you. Uh, do you hear me? Do you hear me? Yes, we can. Said, yes, we can. Yes, when it we is registered. You. Yes, when it's registered in the name of Black Star, individuals will not go and do registration again. Yes. They will not do any registration again because the land is now registered in the name of Black Star. So individuals only take interest from the Black Star. And the Black Star will then only transfer interest to them. So here, Ex exactly. they cannot go there and do any registration again. Because they have exactly. the, the Black Star took the, the land from my school. And it's going to be registered yes. in the person I know, which is the blaster. So individuals have been taking the land from the school. Yes. And that they cannot go and they put they in So are, are they come to be you? Are they come to be you? Yes. yes. Hello? Uh, Richard is muted. Uh, Nana, Nana, go uh, ahead. Omar, do you hear what I'm saying? Yes, uh, Nana, he is loud and clear. I, I hear it loud and clear, and it's recorded. Yes. So now the person my school know is the blaster, and nobody else. So the individuals, I don't know them. I only know blaster, and for that matter, I'm introducing them to the Lands Commission for registration of the blaster in Africa. But as for the individuals, if you are giving them the individuals' land, you are giving them your interest. And that is where I said, before you can give them that interest, I must be witness to that. That is what we exactly did. Because I have given the land to the lands, uh, Black Star Plan Africa. So if Black Star Plan Africa is given to individuals without my consent, then they have breached a covenant that we had. So if I'm aware of it, I have to sign as a witness. And that's exactly what I did for the individuals. So for the registration, it cannot be done individually. Yes. Right, perfect. So family, have you, you, you heard it, hear it loud and clear? <clears throat> that's from our attorney, Richard Lapo, and the chief of Jihadzi, Nana Haiti. Uh, so what we have set up is the same thing that we've talked about uh, from the get-go. So. And um, just wonder if anybody have any questions, anybody want to chime in or add in, or anybody have anything that they want to ask the chief or Richard. Now is the time before the deadline discontinue. All right, so Nana, are you still there? Yes. Uh, so Richard, the last thing is um, I do, we just still need to get uh, a final uh, land search without any discrepancy or anything that's just looking other than to where someone can understand it because I never understand these things. Um, I know once you show and explain to me, I understand it, but we want to make things to where the average person can see things on a website or see things uh, to where they can look at it and be clear because what we're trying to do is to let people know that everything that we have done as far as the land set up has been registered, as sorry, not registered, has been organized and set up to where you process getting group land and also getting group to pay into it. A very tricky situation, but we'll pull it off uh, for the most part because we have people that's almost finished building. And also, Richard, what I want you to do is explain to in general from an attorney uh, perspective, as far as land registration go, do you have to register your land in Ghana? Uh, it's like a yes or no question. Yes, you have to register your land in Ghana. It's 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 essential that you you register your land. Else, um, the the the. The, the state or the government department responsible for um, uh, uh, keeping records or a registry of registered lands 
will not have your details. You see? Okay. So um, um, once you have acquired the land and it's a valid land, the next thing is for you to register your interest in the land with the states. It's even a legal requirement. Excellent. Yes. There you go, Sanana. You have anything to add to that? And Hello. Uh, yes, Sanana. Go ahead. Yes. As uh, Richard is saying, once you have now got the land. You need to register. And the institution that take care of registration is the Lands Commission. So you go there, you register, and you have the record so that you can, you nobody, if somebody also wants to come to that land, because it's registered, it cannot be given out to another person so that it will be a double sale. So you cannot give it out whereas it has been registered. Other than that, you cannot have any good records. But for the chief, for me, myself, once you are with me there, I know the place is given to you. I may not give it out to any other person. That is it. But for the record sake, it needs to be registered. Excellent. Uh, it's a perfect, uh, so that will work. And the land, and the land you people have got, it's a genuine land. It's my school land. So you don't have problem at all with it. You go to some places, the chief himself will sell to you, and then he will sell to another person. But for my place, or for, for me, for my consent, myself, I will never on this earth do that. So that is why I have even informed the Lands Commission that they must allow you people to be building. Because once we have been informed of come to pay money to register, they should not use that one as a block, uh, a standing block. Once you want to come and see, they should allow you to build and then say that definitely you come and pay and, that, and do the registration. So nobody, no government official is coming to harass anybody that why are you building once it has not been registered. The Lands Commission are aware because I want to tell them, I want to inform them that you are building on the land. Though it's not registered, it should allow you to do the building. The town planning in Riniba also came there and I told them that yes, they want to have a, a layout and then do re register the building, even the building permits. You have to get a building permit before you build. But I spoke to them that some of you want to come and stay quickly. It takes so many years before you can get it. So they should allow you to build. So that land that you have got, it's a genuine land. It's my own land. I appreciate it, Nana. Appreciate it. So, family, um, Nana Haiti and Richard Lapa has been going over the the legal process and the legal land ownership and everything. And and you know we have completed everything except for one thing. So you know it's been a proud process, and we've just been showing people over and over that everything that we're doing is on a legal process and it is done correctly. So we're trying to even clear up even more paperwork uh, just so more and more people can see this because unfortunately, um, over the last several years, there's been a lot of just negative information about Ghana and about scams and about land ownership. And it's been very sad. Uh, Richard, have you seen these things over the years? This, just about Ghana on YouTube all over the place. So it's a situation that, you know, you know, we're always skeptical. So what we do is just try to tell everybody to follow that strong process, that process to where uh, you literally just, just take your time and look through everything. So even right now, uh, we're still just looking over everything, making sure everything is perfected as we are even going to the 60 acres, which everything came out nice and clear on the land search, uh, which is always good. And that is a beautiful area that's never been touched before. And we'll be able to just carve out this uh, a path to the beach and all those wonderful things. Uh, so um, just very excited about this uh, journey as far as us doing business. But, you know, unfortunately, uh, Richard and Nana, uh, the, in the internet is a bad thing. And people uh, tell me that all the time and I tell them I don't disagree. It's kind of like one of those necessary evils. Uh, so uh, 
you know, you can have this a whole lot of good information and then people put bad information out. So what we're trying to do is just educate the public as far as whether it's Ghana, whatever country, follow some of these processes because most of the time, like you mentioned when we, we talked, Richard, earlier um, when we first connected, that a lot of times people don't um, follow these legal process. Someone tell them about a the land and they just, they, they give their money and they start building. <laughs> and then they run into trouble. And that's what I'm telling people, we have went through the entire process um, you know, even at, I recruited our brother Kwabina Abaka as a consultant to work with you to make every, sure everything is perfect. So family, we spent top dollars to make sure that everything is nice and we can build our enterprise. So Richard, is everything good on the 15 and the 60 acres for us to start building? Yes, obviously. But as, as I indicated, yes, we are starting with the 15 acres. The, the inquiries, the letter I wrote to the Lands Commission, I'm asking them to give us how much it will cost for us to register the 15 acres. If you want me to um, do another letter requesting for the cost Absolutely. involved in registering the 60 acres too, I can dispatch that letter as well. Because we have two, two separate lands, 15 acres and 60 acres. So, um, for now, I'm asking the Lands Commission to tell us how much it will cost to register the 15 acres. Uh, so if I have um, the green light from you, I can do another letter and ask the Lands Commission to uh, give us the cost of registering the other 60 as well. I think, but I don't know how, Absolutely. whether I, I, if I should hold on with inquiries the respect of the 60 acres or i should no um, i think no, I, no the last commission will be glad to have that because uh, they yeah they are eager because I, I have told them that they are diaspora government policy to have homecoming and uh we have to help them stay so they shouldn't make things difficult for them yeah. so now the last commission is ready to get the registration for them Provided the money is ready, they'll do it within short time because they will not take the. the uh, the, the usual long period I spoke to them. So when the money is ready, they'll do it. And when you are asking for the system, the system to be away. So why, if you are writing for the system to and the money gets ready, who the government has made is a policy for homecoming. And, they have, and I have my land. And I want them to stay. So they must work things out quickly for them and make it pleasurable. Yeah, tell me this. Uh, so I, I really uh, talked to them. So, like, well, I think you can do that one as well so that they'll prepare and pay okay. off and then do it. Yes. But uh, luckily for me, I have blocked I have blocked the 60 acres. I asked him to block it. So it is blocked. So it's only the 15 acres which was not blocked. So you asked for the two uh, land. How much because it will call for the registration. And then this is okay. okay, the way forward. Yes. All right. Okay. So I'll do two separate letters. One for the 15. No, the one the 15 is gone. So I'll do another letter for the 60 acres. Uh, you've done the 15 and already. Yes. Okay. Yes. I've done the letter for the 15. Yes, I've dispatched okay. it. So the, I'll 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 do another letter for the 60. And, and send it to them to for them to give us how much it will cost for the 60 as well. Okay. Yes. So, so perfect, so, so family, we have a few people on. Anybody have any questions for Nana Haiti? Please, the line is live and direct, open. I wanna get questions out before you know, you may have di disconnect or something goes wrong. Ghana internet is not very nice. <laughs> Excuse me. Hello, I didn't hear you. Yeah, I said Ghana internet is not very nice. So anybody have any questions for Nana Haiti before the line goes out? <laughs> Nana Haiti, I don't hold. I don't have any questions on Bomani. I just want to thank him for making the land available for us to um, purchase or to lease. Yeah, and I hate to, we need you to, to give clarity because sometimes people think that you gave it to, gave the land to us. And I'm telling people that there's, there was no, it was no gift. We literally 
did a financial transaction and that's why we are able to pay for all the people that we need to pay for. Uh, Richard, I'm not sure if Nana hates you hear me. Oh, uh, you're saying? Yes, yeah, I'm trying to... I'm trying to get you to confirm that we that, that this was, the network here is a bit. Disturbing. Yeah, that's unfortunate. <laughs> this is unfortunate. Uh, yes, Nana, I just want to yeah. make it clear that this was a land purchase. You didn't give us any land. We didn't get any free land because I'm trying to explain to people this is no free land. This is no free business. <laughs> Yes, uh, the land is not for purchase as such. It's leased because it's a school land. Richard, can you hear me? It's yes. a school land. And for the school land, we don't outright sell it, but we make it a lease. So it's a lease land, not purchase land. All right, so I, I, I got you. Perfect. So you're correcting me. I'm correcting you. I got you. All right, so the, the word lease is the proper word, lease. Okay, so what I want to make clear to people, because that there is no free land that we you, we are in deal with. Oh yeah, yeah, there's no free land. Yeah, you can't yeah. get free land in Ghana. Well, well, some people <laughs> have <laughs> a. <laughs> you cannot have free land in Ghana. Yes, so, so, so it's not free. <laughs> and two, it goes with uh, conditions, and. Let me be frank, for foreigners, you have to give them 50 acres and 50, 50 years lease, not 99 years lease. And for me, I foresaw that you are my brothers. And, and I was trying to do that in support of the government policy. That is why I made it clear that it's supposed to be 99 years so that the people will stay comfortably. If I die now, whoever will come to the school, because I have made it 99 years, will not interfere with anybody on the land. That's why I made it 99 years. I did all that gracefully from my heart. So it's unfortunate people are not understanding who is owner and who has come to challenge that I've given out land. Nobody has challenged. Nobody has, yes, so, has yeah. challenged. A lot of people Last have challenged proven us wrong. Individual having challenged. So who is the owner? And who whom that owner is? Who is the person coming to challenge me? Nobody has come to challenge me. Last commission hasn't challenged me. Every last commission, they want 100 acres. They called me when I was in school. They called me that they needed 100 acres. And I directed them to my elders. They went and demarcated that 100 acres. My land is vast. It's big land. It's unfortunate it has not been registered already by my ancestors. That is why now it has to go to land commission for them to register. So the land in Ghana is not free. It's not free at all. If you if you get the land somewhere to buy, it's, it, the, the money you paid is not it, it's not a joke. But I I did all that in support of government policy of whom coming. So people must appreciate my effort and stop undermining my integrity. Yeah, um, Nana, unfortunately, there's it's a lot of crazy people out there that uh, run their mouth off. But what I'm always saying to people is that a lot of people say a lot of things, but I'm still waiting for somebody to prove something wrong, prove, you know, bring some proof or something. It's easy for people to say things. And that's why most of the time I tell people I don't have time to, to go back and forth with any, anybody. I got too much moves to make. but. I can see why people uh, get involved with this negative energy because it's easier to attract people on the internet if you say a bunch of foolishness than for you to actually be on some educated information. I just uh, spent um, all this time right here going back and forth from Nana Haiti to Richard Lapo and they explain a whole process of how to go by looking at land and registering it and setting it up. And that's also for other people that's out there because people keep calling me and telling me about, oh, but well, I can't do business with you guys because I'm getting free land. I can't do business with you because I'm getting cheap land. And I'm like, family, you got to do what you have to do. But we're not getting no free lunch or no free deal. And I'm fine with that because we're trying to invest in a, in a, in a town, in a community where we can build an empire together. And that's the difference. So all these projects are not the same. And because of just the, the mighty and the organized aspect of what we're doing, 
and and people who just don't have the same energy to this, do the same work, you know, you know. So for the people that's with it, keep on flowing with us and let's build. Everything has been organized. And I tell people, do your own research, do what you need to do, and you'll see you'll come up with the same conclusion. I think the worst thing you can look at is okay, we're not registered with the land yet, but at the same time, too, there's a whole lot of payments that's not been received to even do that. But nevertheless, that's not even the point. You know, the point is that we're just being honest up front from the beginning that this was going to be the last thing that we had to do and we have to put it off. And right now we're still waiting for surveys. So right now, for anybody else who just literally need to build, a lot of people have their paperwork. Uh, two more houses are going up and then a few more people are looking to just make the move. One certain things, you know, go a little smoother in Ghana, then more people will be able to come in and out and go take a look at the land. And that's why we have an office there. So all those things that are set up, and those things are just business and it is a cost of business. So, and instead of for us to just build certain things. So Nana and uh, Richard can tell you, it's a lot of crazy things going on. Most land in Ghana also, Richard, what I wanted you to explain is that land registration is important, but most land in Ghana is not registered. Am I correct or incorrect? Yeah. Yes, yeah, yes. What is the yes. reason for that? Well, it's it's those people are are not complying with the laws of the land. It's 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 obligatory for one to register his or her interests in in an acquired land or a leased land or whatever a land that has been granted to him. But you know, it's not everybody that um, does that. You see, if you don't register your land with the state. And there are no records. Um, you 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 cannot use the land for any official transaction. You cannot use it to, let's say, secure a loan. You cannot use it to um, do any official business. The banks cannot deal with you because it's not registered with the state. There is no official, um, maybe for want of a better word, uh, official recognition by the state in respect of your land. So it's, it's at that point, it remains a land granted to you by your grantor. You see, the, the law says that you have to register your, your land for your name to be entered into the, uh, the, uh, the, the registry. There is a land registry. That's perfect. You see, for, for, for your, your, your land. So, so perfect family. So yes. unfortunately, family, um, this is not there, so there are a host a, a host okay. of, of benefits that you you stand to 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 um, get from registering your land a lot because an unregistered land, as Nana said, um, someone can can um, you know. Preparation, I'm not saying there's a, but a, a rival claim to the land. Um, a rival claimant can come and say, yes, this land also belongs to me. And then if his interest is, is um, registered with the Lands Commission, um, it's, 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 you have a tall order, Perfect. you know, dealing with this end, but that is for another discussion. But yeah, as, as, and, and that's also we tell people that's the importance of the land search and being able yes. to just understand whatever you get back on a land search. You need to be clear about what you're reading because you know, not everyone can just look at that and just understand certain things in a land search or certain paperwork. So it's important to have legal representation or consultant. And that's what I'm always telling people. That's the same thing we talk about, Richard, um, you know, when we first talk, trying to get more of our people to just be clear about the investment and things like that, because this is not something that you just get up every day, you just learn overnight. And I'm still trying to learn the whole process as we just go along with the whole process. But the main thing we tell everybody is we're following everything with certain guidelines. And Richard made a valid point. And this is why you have certain craziness as far as our land disputes and things like that. Um, that and, and this negative this stuff is just always online. So that's why we just went to a certain process and that's the best thing I could tell everybody. We just literally just understand the game and understand the craziness of the, what goes on and what moves not to make. And so that's what I'm telling people. You know, I, you know, I appreciate Nana Haiti and you know, we just connected to where 
We're working on a long-term deal to do a whole lot of just good things in Jahazi. And unfortunately, for those who just want to be negative, they're just destroying the future of, the, you know, of our own children because the children are, are the ones uh, to benefit from what we're doing. Nana Haiti is an older man and I'm getting up there in ages also. What we're just trying to do is just do some wonderful things <laughs> to where we can just uh, build something beautiful together as a people. And also just do something wonderful. And, you know, and that's all it is. Um, uh, you know, last time we all got together on uh, January our uh, 6th, uh, right there in making an hotel. And we just you know, talked about everything. And I'm always showing people like, look at this beautiful process of what we're explaining to people, how we go by just getting everything organized. And unfortunately, you know, you may not just get all your stuff all ahead of time, quick and fast, you know, but, uh, you know, it will get there. Uh, so as time go along, all these processes, but there's never a perfected process in a country like Ghana. So everybody have to understand that, you know, you have to just go the floor times, unfortunately, and just, you know, keep on us, um, you know, working the process because things have gotten a whole lot better as far as all these um, process of, for paperwork. Because some countries you go to, there is no, you know, like lands commission like Ghana. Unfortunately, I'm not trying to badmouth any country or any other country, you know, but it's just, if you haven't just been around to whole different parts of Africa and compare everything, you can't just go to one country and it's like, oh, this country is this and that, you know, uh, but that's my experience of just being around the world. And I just tell people this, we just got to work with something and work with this a good energy. And right now, this being able to just be in Ghana and just get what we need to get done and set up has been beautiful because I'm being honest with you. Some places we would not, we would never got as far. And you know, so, I mean, the fact that we just have people that's there living and then we have, you know, another community where, you know, where we can set up and do business and just make it, you know, and nobody's, you know, bothering you and you just enjoying life. Uh, Nana Haiti, uh, you have any uh, questions or you have something to share? Uh, well, uh... Uh, I would like them to understand that uh, the land is my land and there's no uh, uh, secret about it. So people who are going around informing others that uh, uh, I'm, I'm having a deal with Bomani and we are scamming people must stop because uh, it's tantamount to defamation. And uh, uh, I wouldn't like to start fighting with people whom I want to live with. Other than that, I will have even taken one or two people on. Already even Ghana here have taken somebody on for uh, 200 billion for defamation. And uh, Richard is, is aware of that, of that. So I can easily do that. But uh, uh, I, I love to have visitors in, on my land and I wouldn't like to start fighting with them. So they must stop going around destroy my name. It's a, it goes against my stool. And if I don't do anything at all, they, might have, they may suffer for it. So they must stop. They must stop and withdraw all those things that they have done on the internet and apologize. Because it's not fair that you wouldn't know, you didn't understand what you are saying and you are saying them. It's not done. And it is showing the character of certain people that I'm going to meet in my community. And it's not the best that uh, we, we, we just have a, 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 a fresh fire and then you put a snail in it. It quenches the fire. And uh, 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 I've done so much helping you through the Lands Commission, helping you through the town planning, allowing people, you are building without permit and the rest. Oh, it's my effort. And then you go around telling people that, I'm frauding people, I'm, uh, the land is not my land, this and here and that. For us, you are not aware of what really is. You are not, you are not one of my stool members. You don't know anything about my stool. And you are talking against my stool. So they must advise themselves. They must advise themselves. Richard is there. I can easily ask Richard to take them on. And, and all money they have in their world, in, in their life, I'll take it from them. Because it's a defamatory. It's defamatory. So they must stop. Yes, I appreciate it. Uh, it's, uh, it's an unfortunate uh, situation. You know, sometimes people ask me, is like, why would people say certain things about you? And, and, uh, and I start smiling. I was like, you know, it's, uh, it's the world you live in. You know, people like ourselves make, 
easy target. You know, I'm always online sharing what we're sharing. And, you know, some people don't like the life you live. You know, you're in different countries, you're doing business and you're making moves and you're just cr creating a path. And unfortunately, not everyone is welcome in the world that we live in. So, you know, many things happen. And, you know, it's an easy story to tell by the saying certain things, but I'm yet to see people show proof of all these things. And so I'm always smiling. It's been a long time and, you know, and, you know, I take it back to this 18, 18 straight years. So not unfortunately, um, now this, this is a connection that uh, some people um, want to build, but uh, can't build it. And uh, also some people feel like we shouldn't build a community where it's just a few people from, uh, people from the diaspora or whatever. But you know, people just come up with all kinds of different ways to say certain things. What we're doing is building black enterprise, black cooperative economics, and we're putting our money together. People are worried about the wrong thing instead of worrying about all the other people that's dominating different parts of Africa. Uh, the Chinese, the Indians, uh, the Lebanese, uh, uh, you know, so on and so on. And then we as a people just have a great opportunity to put our energy and our resources together and create a path for other people. You know, we may not have all the finances and all everything and all the answers and everything, but when you're creating a path like this, other people come along. And, you know, little by little, we have meet wonderful people and that's how we have just kept things going, you know? And myself and a few people has been the people that you know that people see. But yes, we also have this a group of fifty plus of people that contribute, and so on. So, again, you know, every year or so we just keep on doing something like this where we just tell people this is who we are, um, and you know what we do because none of us are going to ruin our careers or you know to do this any kind of foolishness because we have a great opportunity to build a whole lot of business. So when people believe anything negative, anything crazy, I tell people that's. You, know, you have to analyze yourself also because then you have someone that's been showing you all the things that we have done as best as we can do. I mean, just going through all of the, the times, even right now, you know, this, this the era where, you know, some people just won't make a move and things like that. We've just been able to just keep people that's interested in, want to come to Africa and just want to make certain things happen and understand that it's a situation that either we take advantage of or we just let other people take advantage of us. Because, you know, I'm sure sooner or later, if nobody from the DAS want to do any deal with Nana Haiti, you know, a nice Indian man is going to come and make him a deal he won't refuse. It's one of those things. It's just life and it's just business. I'm not here to judge anybody, but I'm telling people the same thing, too. We do business, and if people just do something else, because people keep telling me about free land, I tell them that there's no free land. And every time I tell someone like uh, Richard, they just laugh because he knows the deal that if they don't get you on one way, they'll get you in another. <laughs> okay. Yes. So um, I think for now, we should wait for the official response from the Lands Commission. And then I think it will, it will, it will help us in this discussion because um, once we get the, the amount to be paid for the registration, it's enough proof that the state is prepared to register the land for Black Star, an African community, so that their, ah. their, their interest in the land will be documented with the state. But then we'll have to pay the required fee. Hey, tell him, uh, tell him, can I get a, tell him, can I get a veteran discount? I've been coming to the country, bringing all kinds of people. Uh, over 500 people for 15 years, someone give me a discount. Well, I, I, I well, I will try. I, I, I would, I would, I'll have a word with them and then I've written to them already in respect of the 15 acres. I'll add the 60 acres uh, inquiry and then I'll, I'll see what, what they can do for us. But I, I think there is, there is a prescribed fee that one, the, the registration, that money goes to the state. But I don't know what they can do for us. That one, it's, it's, it's not in my hands. So <laughs> let me see what, what right. they, they, right, so they, they I'm sure everything is going to be the same price that we gave everyone on the written document um, and quote it. The reason I'm doing all of this family is uh, honestly just trying to redo everything over and pay for everything over. And that's how serious we are. So we're trying to let people know that 
do your best. You know, we're telling you, family, we have covered every single track we need to cover because we know that some of our people are wicked and they just won't put the work ethic into building anything. So they'll hijack what you're doing. So I'm telling people, if you want to avoid these kind of people and avoid things, just, you know, get you a consultant and get you an attorney and build a good relationship with the person you're doing land with and get to the source and don't deal with a bunch of middlemen. And Richard uh, and uh, Nana Haiti has their own advice for you. And our Prince Charles, um, uh, let me just see if you have any questions or uh, Dr. Yeah. Austin, our guide, my brother, speak on. Yeah, yeah. so um, what I wanted to know, right, the land is registered in Black Star's name, correct? Then it has now, it, no. No, it's not no, registered. It's, we have a, it's not registered yeah. yet. Oh, oh, okay. We got, a quote, we got a quote for registration and we're getting a new one. Oh. Oh, I see. I understand. Okay, so once it's registered in Black Star, then we can, then you will transfer individual interests to all persons who have purchased plots, right? No, once it is we registered. We do that the deed of assignment also. They get a deed of assignment with a survey. Yes, once it is registered, individuals can now go to Lands Commission and then they can have their, 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 um, uh, the, 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 what we call transfer, you will not do another registration. The, you see, the whole the whole fifteen acres um, has been registered. The the entire land is registered in the name of Black Star. So, if let's say you have one plot of land, you just take your documents to the Lands Commission, and they they will do a transfer for you. So you don't need to do another registration. So it is a direct transfer from, 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 from um, Blackstar to whoever um, is coming to have his or her plots registered. And what would be the cost for us to, to do that? It, the it, cost we have right now is uh, 700 per plot. Uh, so. We're trying to get that readjusted as best as possible with written documentation. So what I have right now is what I even told most people, like don't pay it, this hold off, but that's what we negotiated for. Cause you know, I gotta go by, you know, you, you go by what we just, you, know, you got so many deals going and that was the deal, final deal I got for that one. So um, the goal is to get it adjusted for all the new people. Cause we're trying to reduce everything. And since we got the 60 acres, trying to you know leverage the deal and say, hey, you know, but, like my, like Richard said that, you know, it does not go. It goes to the government, so they may not be able to just do anything. But um, quote unquote, one let everybody know per written documentation, it's seven hundred, and um, we just uh, no. I think, I think you have to wait for for the official figure, the the from them. So just give me this week. In the course of this week, I should. I'm hoping to get a response from them. Now, Richard, remember, uh, we talk about, we, 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 you, we, uh, you and Nana gave me everything a while back, and that's what we yes. calculated. But, yes. uh, but what I'm telling everybody is that per anything that anybody want to say, we're going to redo every single last process again and let everybody know that this is what we got organized. Well, but, Mane, do you remember how much we told you? Yes, because I, you know, because what I do is I type everything up on a website. I, I, do you remember uh, the, the, the amount we told you? Uh, yes, and I divided it by 60 plots and I came up with 700. Uh, it was how much so that I uh, can inform them that uh, that's the amount they gave us. It was how uh, much. I, 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 what I'm trying to do I is think... I'm trying to get you to renegotiate a new deal. So I'm telling everybody, even with the land, Reno search, trying to get you to do a re new land search, trying to get us to just do everything over and then we just confirm everything and set everything up and put everything set in a system to where we can show people that this is the best way to do land ownership. That way you don't have any problems. You just put everything in the system. I am also suggesting, I'm advising that we wait. Let me get the official figure from the land. Oh, yes. Uh, we ha I have that clearly. Any, any figure. I have that clearly, but what I'm saying to you, uh, any figure that I have, because I can't think about everything, every figure I have, it's what we had based on what we talk about. So that's what I have on the website. So right now, yes. I keep what we have, but what we do is we're renegotiating 
and new terms because we're now saying, hey, we have 60 acres and we're not rich and we need to even get a better deal for the 60 acres. So Richard, that's all good. Uh, you have time, there's no rush. Work on what you have to work on because I'm telling everybody, all of this take time and you know, <laughs> and we're just gonna make it work because it's, so tell people compare what we're doing, the fairest thing to do, what we're doing to other people process and you'll see the situation. We have an incredible flow going. And once we break this thing open, we'll be able to just have more and more things in the system because like Richard talked about, most land in Ghana is not registered. Uh, uh, Prince Charles, I know you got something to say uh, about land. Tell us about uh, some story or something. Yeah, well, from my experience, a lot of land in Ghana, and I only spent four months there, it seems like a lot of land in Ghana has litigation attached to it. Um, seems like a lot of people sell land and then they resell it to other people. So by the time you're ready to build, you you um, get land guard showing up. And I'm not even just talking about just like bare land. I'm talking about even trying to purchase even a property on top of land already, like a newly built development. You buy it and you know, people would tell you, the developer would tell you that the land is clear and free, and it's not. Unless you get an attorney, like how Bamani's gotten an attorney and, you know, he has the chief, you know, on board with everything. I mean, I mean, he's got the best setup to really, you know, untangle what the issue is. But like, if someone was gonna go and purchase land and they don't have an attorney and they don't really know who the real chief is, they're screwed. They're going to lose their money for sure. doesn't matter what anybody tells you. If you don't have an attorney and you don't have the chief there to prove who owns the land, you're going to lose your money. That's just from my experience. So whoever is spreading rumors about, you know, that the land does not belong to the chief, they're idiots because no one's challenged. People just making up different stories every single day. And I think it's all out of jealousy. You know, people just hate on people who are trying to do things positive in this world. But, you know, we appreciate you, Chief, coming on and Richard, you know, trying to clarify the situation 100%. Very well, very well. Yeah, Nana, you've been a straight up man, uh, honestly. You've been, um, you know, we have met directly and we have met on several occasions where we have met inside your palace, uh, in, your, in your area. We have met uh, at our hotel and people have met. You know, so we're telling people that you're talking about these are real people who you see them live in real life. And, you know, uh, Richard Lapo have his law firm uh, right there in Accra. And, you know, we have our office right in Jahadzi and right here in uh, Jonesboro, Georgia. And, uh, you know. You know, we want people to learn from our process. We put work in to put this together. And then uh, unfortunately our uh, consultant Quabin is not here. He's another person that I even added to the team. And then we have a surveyor, he's always working. So he's not uh, available. And you now we just put, and then we just need to just add a, a, some more energy to this and family. We have this an incredible setup to where we can help people move from America moving that community across from us or move directly on the land because they can just get what they need to get started. Like other people. So I'm telling the family, um, again, you can just reach out to us directly if you need to talk about anything and you need clarity because uh, unfortunately um, I can tell people, you know, what I can tell people. So if you want to talk with us, talk with us directly. And that's how we make ourselves available on a regular basis, uh, when you catch, whether you catch us on one network or another network, we just make ourselves available. Uh, anybody want to say anything um, before we close? I don't want to keep us uh, all night. Well, I think, you know, you having the, the chief and attorney Richard on, I think this is going to put a lot of the allegations and stupid gossip to rest for once and for all. And it's the best thing is it's only a pity that, you know, we didn't do this sooner because all this gossip is just really unproductive, really, honestly speaking.
Yeah, brother. Um, unfortunately, that's the uh, way it goes. But like I tell people, you now somebody sent me a message earlier. I tell people, or you know, people send me a message throughout the week. I tell people, I've been dealing with this for a long time. And unfortunately, I'm one of them people that, you know, you know, your parents tell you, go get an education and put the work into life and things like that. And other people just feel like they can beat the system and cheat the system. And at the end of the day, it catches up to them. So <laughs> nowadays, they can just... It can just be in a sideline and just talk a mess about you. <laughs> and, you know, because your life is public and things like that. And people know who you are and you're moving around. And I tell people that's who it is. That's how it is. And I'm fine. Uh, just keep on saying what you're saying and keep on doing what you're doing because I got a whole bunch of business and careers and things like that. And I just keep life moving. And, you know, we're just going to build an empire regardless. Uh, so for those who want to just, you know, connect with us, connect with us. For those we need to do their research, uh, you know, do your research, uh, because all we're doing is just covering everything that we need to cover, and we're gonna keep building. Um, let me just, Nana, you want anything to share? You want to share anything before yeah, we close? Uh, uh, all what I'll say that I'll continue the support of all those who are coming. Uh, although I I got a bit upset about what happened, but uh. Uh, being a chief, I must be a parent for everybody. So I'll forget about it and continue supporting you. That's all what I can see. Absolutely. And um, I look at it as, you know, um, with this very important to where uh, people make stories up because that's what people do online. And no one can challenge what we're doing. And no one has ever been able to do that. And then good luck. Because one of the things is, number one, we're not going to put our careers and our business on the line. And number two, we literally look into this, create an example for other people just to say, hey, do the research, do the work, make the deals, build a relationship, and make these things happen. And don't just think that you're just going to sit around and talk about other people and then us to progress. Because right now, everyone else in the world is moving and building. Yeah. And so... So yes, Nana, and you're not going to talk with Nana about that beach access property. You know, I'm, I'm literally looking to this talk with you literally about how much ownership that you have along the beach and literally going to go into some serious deals. I got business people here. I'm working on setting up to meet with me all this spring and all this summer. Uh, we're going to do some incredible stuff here uh, in my office here. And um, you know, so that's why I appreciate uh, both of you just being available because I show everybody all the videos that we make and I show everybody all of the, uh, the documentation that uh, Richard, that you have signed and sent and let people know that the courts of God has stamped these uh, paperwork and this is in the, you know, the business division there in Ghana, all the legal paperwork and the lands commission. And I was like, yeah, that's a lot of work to move around and get done, but it's worth getting it done because number one, you're doing business with your own brothers and sisters, you're doing business with your own nation and you're building a situation where telling people let's do things the legal process away and stop trying to think you can just move to Africa and just cheat the system and just go get free land and go do all of this and that. Um, and that's all I got to share. Uh, so if no one else have anything to oh, share. Oh, yes. Uh, really, uh, the, land, uh, the land is very vast up to the shore. Uh, share boundary with Senya and the rest. And uh, I always think that uh, I have to get investors who will be coming to put up factories, industries where people can get jobs to do. Really, whoever wants to come and do any work, any job, Ajahazi, or needed a land, I'll have it for the person. There's a vast land at the shore. If you want to have a beach, you have it. You have it. So I'm yeah, um, I'm ever ready to welcome everybody who would like to come and stay and do business with Jahad. Yes, Nana. Uh, once uh, Evan does that survey, uh, not the survey. Once Evans get the the point, the location, how big it is, and I'm, I'm gonna put that in my um presentation and. We're going to be talking yes. about some serious deal, brother. Yes. We're going to be talking about yes. making that whole place a nice beach a paradise you know, with docks. And, you know, Richard, you can just come back and just take a vacation away from the mad city, Accra, and just enjoy, you know, paradise and jihadzi. 
Uh, uh, yes, uh, Richard knows. Richard knows the 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 the, the area. He he knows he knows I have that vast land along the shore and all that places. Yes. So you whoever is interested, you let him come. When he comes, we'll go through the same process and get him a place to develop. Yes, absolutely, and I appreciate it. So, family, uh, uh, these are all of the things. But, that but, but, but for, a, for a meantime, you let's work on the 60 and the 15. Oh, absolutely. When I'm, for a meantime. Yeah. Oh, what I'm, yes. what, I, what I'm envisioning to you that I'm looking to this, uh, take this thing to a whole nother level. I'm just getting ready this whole spring and summer in and out of different places and literally just looking to market a whole dynamic as far as this industries are what we can build right there in that entire beach area and industrial area, you know, you know, like real industry. So what I was explaining to people, like this is what we're explaining to people that like, all of our paperwork, everything that we have organized is illegal and set up. And if anyone needs a big amount of land to do business and networking, uh, they don't have to bother Nana because uh, Nana is not going to talk with you. They just reach out to me because I'm one that's representing Nana directly as far as there's any land that he owns in Jahadzi. And literally, um, the, is, is literally exclusive broker. And I want you to let them know, Nana, if anybody need land around you, they need to come see me. And then we'll work it through Richard and we just do all the legal paperwork and get everything done. And it's a signed stamp deal where we just have this accountability on all levels to where things get done. Because un unfortunately, if we don't do that, that's the foolishness that we see online. And you know, I'm not, you know, I'm not the one bad man Ghana, it's just other people, but I'm saying to people that, you know, people, people should also look at the fact that what people are saying, some people are not doing their due diligence and they're not putting their work in and not being clear about what, what they're getting into. People are just taking people word, whether it's your lover or somebody that seduced you or whatever the situation is, just do that work. So family, uh, we have just dropped a whole lot of free knowledge and education as usually we do right here live on Revolutionary Camp. I was to document a move of traveling towards investment, building a future in Africa. <laughs> Richard, you look happy. You're just happy to be a part of the crew, right? <laughs> <laughs> one, day, one day I'm gonna make you a rich man. You're, you're not a hit. <laughs> you can be like, oh my God, that guy Bomani put us to a lot. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's fine. It's okay. It's okay. People are difficult. It's, it's like, I tell people, people actually, what's your percentage of people who travel with you I said 50, 100, 100 percent people commit 50 percent. They said what they said, what about land? 50 percent. I was like, that's my world of tourism and investment. I was telling people, but that's what we are as a people. We change our mind and things like that. So we have done the best we can do to just make sure that we just look out for people and make sure we sign deals, have general terms, have agreements and things like that, and put everything in writing. So we have done our best family. So please, family, do your work, connect with us and anything that you need. Jahadji is about an hour and a half to two hours away, uh, right there in the central region. And we're looking to just get as many people who want to invest, build, and expand, and do whatever they, uh, they need to do to just build a beautiful town. Um, that way, um, and if we uh, we don't do these things, family, invest in our own motherland. Richard, tell them, the Indian, the Chinese, the Lebanese, what are they doing? The Canadians, what are they doing? Buying up land, right? Everywhere? Yes, yes, yes. They are teaming up. They are coming together to buy huge tracts of land because um, <laughs> Ghana is a place to be. Your government should stop <laughs> selling land to white folks. No. <laughs> or non-black people. Yeah, they should. They should stop it. Because when they do that, they price uh, local Guineans out. No, the <clears throat> government, government does not sell land. Ex ex land belongs to stools, families, individuals, um, communities, etc. Usually, uh, state lands, um, they are the only few. They are lands usually acquired by governments for maybe for a public uh, projects or something. But um, essentially, government does not sell lands. So if you want to acquire land, you either have to go through a, a stool, a family, 
uh, community, individuals, etc., etc. Who is the stool? What is the stool exactly? Can you explain? Stool, what it uh, is Nana, the that, yes. Uh, so is the chief. That is uh, the 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 owner of the land. Who? Oh. Yes, the owner of the land is the okay. chief. Okay, I'm but uh, even that explanation is not enough because owners of a family head can have can be a member, a uh, owner of a land. Individuals can be a member. But when we say school, it means it's the first that the family that came to stay there first. You understand? Okay. They understand. discovered the land. They discovered the land and settled there. Uh -huh. So that is the stool. And yes. I understand. Okay. Yes, that's why we have this two land. I'm glad you clarified that because somebody was saying that um, that the land is stool land and it cannot be sold. So now we know that's not the case. You own the land. You sold the land to Bamani, so the land can be sold because you are the owner. By, of the land. by law, it's, it's leased. It's, but, but, it's not. It's not but sold. It's not correct. The, the, the title is leased, and that's the confusion. Is that it's not sold? Technology. It's leased. It's leased, but it was a financial transaction because nobody gets free land in Ghana. Is what he's saying, but I showed everybody a financial report, and anybody who ever wants one, I can always resend it. Of them, all of the transaction, Tanana Haiti to pay for the land. And all the payments for phase one and phase two, because I don't believe in that free situation. And you know, same thing with Richard. You know, uh, you know, we, everybody. It's a paid business operation. That's why people pay administration costs, and that's why we just collect payments for land and things like that, and 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 so on. So we let people know that this is how we choose to do it, and we are clear about this from day one, and it's in all the paperwork, and we're going to keep on explaining and sharing it. And in updated videos and being available to answer questions. But I, what I wanted to find out is, uh, Dr. Austin, would you like to just uh, share with us anything that you have listened to from our uh, going on about uh, what we're going on about? Well, I'm glad that a lot of things was cleared up. And I just want to thank you all for uh, coming on, sharing with us to give us a better understanding of um, what it is to be to purchase or lease property in Ghana. And so thank you. Welcome, madam. Welcome. Welcome. Yes. Absolutely. We're trying our best way to educate people because what we see is a lot of bad information of people leaving America. And I feel bad for them because sometimes you know ignorance just go a long way. Someone online tell them, oh you don't don't do what these people are doing. Don't pay no lawyer, don't pay no consultant. Oh, don't worry about this chief, don't worry about that chief, do it this way. And, you know, I've seen this directly from this traveling to Ghana, being a whole lot of people. Uh, a lot of times I just couldn't, only advice I had to people is like, if you want land, go talk with one of my consultants here. These are my brothers and I trust them with my life. But what they do is just go do their own deal. Next thing you know, something happened, but then we got to fling into damage control. Let me get my uh, video on. Then we have to go into damage control, unfortunately. But what we're telling people is that they don't have to do damage control. What they have to do is process the situation. And that's why we have that office right there. And that's what I'm telling you, Richard and Nana, the office right there in Jahadzi um, uh, Estate. Uh, Richard, you may not have been there, but whenever you pass by, I can always give you our first vice president uh, link to connect with them and make arrangements okay. to pass by. Any documents you ever want to leave there, drop off. You can drop okay. off. Eventually, I'll have the computers and the scanners and all those things set up and uh, this the office set up just like th this high tech office here or mm -hmm. close to it. And then we'll be able to just operate directly from there and here and have a direct secretary uh, on staff to where they, they can just work and communicate. So we're letting people know that we're doing this to the highest level because what I want you and I, um, Richard, to work on since you know Nana Haiti directly is I want us to just work on this, the ownership of what uh, Nana Haiti owns in that area of Jihadzi. So we can just look at what he owns and what's available, and maybe in the future, I'm telling you, I'm looking to this exclusively just bring a network of people that's in that community to where we can just make it a little bit of industrial town, resort, a little bit of residential, and a little bit of just many different things, especially for high education, as far as this technical and business institute. So um, it's one of those things where, you know, I spend all my time running around Ghana and trying to go here, go there, and I feel you know, really, really connected with uh, uh, you and Nana and then Kwabana to where we have just pulled this thing off great. 
And every time people challenge us, we have never backed off or run or start or saying that we're on vacation or we're hiding or something. We've shown our faces. We'll let people know we're, who we are and what we're about. And anybody ever want to reach out to us, they can reach out to us. Well, in closing, uh, anybody have anything to say? Uh, that way I'll just cut the call uh, short and we just reconnect next time. Okay. Okay. All right. So I'll, I'll finish you with the response immediately I get saying from the Lands Commission. Right. Okay. All right. All right, Prince Charles, anything else to say, my brother, man? No. No, that's okay. We're waiting until everything is all cleared up. <laughs> everything is cleared up. Um, yeah. Everything. Oh, no, no. Hey, hey, brother. Hey, how long have you been going back and forth to Ghana? I'm telling people, don't hold their breath. No, it will be cleared up. It might just I mean, take yeah. some time, but it will be cleared up. Yeah, um, we already got the price already, but uh, like I mentioned to people, we do we, we, just, um, we have to do in the interim. The chief no, said no, we can um, do. Yeah, the price is gonna probably be the same, but um, we just letting people know that again, we're just redoing this process because what we're just doing is redoing everything to, you know, twice. Yeah. You know? Look, it doesn't really matter what what is what because once the chief has given us the blessings that we can build, that's the main thing, and we know who that the land was not sold in bad faith. So that's the main thing. We know where the land came from. We know who uh, the, you know, the owners of the land and the land was sold in good faith. So that's the main thing. So long as we can build, everything else will fall into place at the right time. Exactly. So you have, you have been getting written documentation. You have been getting verbal documentation. You have exactly. been getting a video documentation. Us going there, meeting the chief. So I'm yeah. telling the family, no one has ever done this in the history of mankind. Yeah. I'm giving you more documentation than they can give you. <laughs> the chief said that we could have built since 2021 when we had the ceremony, the sacrifice. Remember? Yeah, that, that, was the, that was the purpose of doing that right there. So yeah. even, even ancestral, like, it would have literally followed that process. Exactly. He said that we could build since that time. So Ancestral. You know. So wow. uh, again, brother, I, I, just, I just want you to understand and see that what we're doing is no one has ever pulled this thing off ever in the history of the world of what we're doing to really just get us together to build an organized diaspora community. And this is just the foundation. So um, I'm enjoying it, brother. And you know, when they say uh, all publicity is beautiful publicity, so I want to shout out and just give a big, uh, you know, strong fist to all my haters, keep just giving me that love and that support and keep on having your crazy people uh, share whatever videos. I love it because what it does, it gives us a good situation to where we know who is who and not who is who. And then I hate to you like, let me turn my video on so I can show them who I am. <laughs> <laughs> it's just jealousy, that's why. It's jealousy. Brother, brother it's, ne it's, it's necessary yeah. evil. And I'm, I'm a good brother. Brother, I welcome it. Yeah. I, I welcome people, it. It's, it's kind of like, like a challenge and a duo. Yeah. You, know, like, you, want, you want people to bring their best to say they can defeat you. And they can keep on people, trying. Certain people cannot go to Africa because they have a criminal background. <laughs> but they can't travel. So because they can't travel, they try to destroy other people who can travel and build. Yeah, but the, the thing of it is, we're trying to. I explain to people that when they're trying to do these things, be careful and understand that it's nothing personal. People are gonna come at you. I'm, I'm not just even speaking to myself. I'm talking about other people who decide that they wanna. We're trying to encourage other people, whatever country, wherever, get together as a group of people. Put your money together. Do us do the similar process. Get your land. Build a community. Be a part of the, community, the town. Let's get you know do these things little by little and let's change the dynamics of Africa and just understand that the people who are gonna say things they're gonna be there. It's what it is. Don't take it personal. Uh, a lot of times I sit here and I'm just I'm just laughing because it's funny. And I was like I was and then I look I was like oh my god they're talking about me and I was like it's just what it is. It's just like if, you know sometimes if I just go to Jamaica your family just think you're rich or like oh I see you on TV you been, you went to this country to that country <laughs> I'm like yeah I'm working in this business. So, and you're also spending that money in the country. Uh, you know, everybody we deal with, they're paid business people. 
we're not just recruiting people and say, hey, come work with us for free. You know, because when we travel, uh, uh, you know, Brother Charles, you see what we do? We, we spend our time in 100% Black-owned business, hotels and restaurants, everywhere yeah. we go in Ghana. Big up the Mifflin Hotel. <laughs> Big up One Africa Resort. <laughs> okay. So, yes. So, um, I think we'll connect again another time. Mm -hmm. All right, Nana. Uh, Richard, you take care. Uh, we take care and end the call. And uh, so, family, the journey continues, and I'm available around the clock if you want to reach out to me and talk directly about anything. I am available all the different ways to communicate and assets and understand that, you know, it's what it is. Let's keep it strong. Yes. So you hear from me. Um, uh, let me get the response from Lands Commission and I'll, I'll let you have the, 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 the letter, the response from them. Okay. Right. Yes. Okay. Well, okay. Right. I also thank everybody. I thank everybody, thank uh, Romani for allowing us to express ourselves. Uh, yes, and um, we'll do it again, family. Okay.